Hello and welcome to another video on my channel. This one is slightly different as it's a vlog of my time last year in the German city of Cologne. If you enjoy this video, please let me know as I'm thinking about doing more travel vlogs in the future. But anyway, I hope you enjoy this one. Yes guys, welcome back to the Match Day Experience. This is going to be a vlog of my time here in Cologne, Germany, the country's fourth largest city. So let's see what it has to offer. So the day began at London Stansted Airport as I took a Ryanair flight to Cologne Bonn Airport in Germany and straight after landing I took the train to Cologne Hauptbahnhof and as you exit the train station you get this stunning view of the cathedral. Yes guys, so we have now arrived in the hotel. We are staying at the Pullman Cologne Hotel here in central Cologne. We're about a 15 minutes walk away from the cathedral as well, which is one of the highlights that you absolutely must visit if you do come to Cologne. But here is a tour of the room. Okay, so here is room. We have a safe, always good to know. And then the bathroom, look at this by the way. Very deluxe, it's looking quite fancy. Nice little shower. Got some complimentary stuff as well, pretty good. We also have some robes and I believe some slippers as well. Look at that, great treatment. And then if we actually move on to the room itself, we have a complimentary mini fridge with a German beer, may have to try that. And obviously some beds, a rather large TV actually. Look at the size of that, that's a rather large one. And then a nice little painting over here. The view isn't really spectacular. It's just a roof, what can you expect? But yeah, another hotel. And then if you look up there, that's actually two of the spires from the cathedral which we are going to visit again in a moment but yeah that's it that's the room i actually really like it in this room i think it's pretty good so after checking out the room we walked into the city to try some kosher and also some traditional german food i had a bratwurst which was absolutely amazing at this restaurant here we are then it is about nine o'clock at night this cathedral is absolutely massive by the way 515 feet look at this ostentatious building so either tomorrow or the next day, we're going to be coming here to do a little cruise here on the River Rhine. Over to the left though, we have a bridge full of padlocks. The name of it will be on screen. Hopefully we're going to visit that at some point. Over here, we obviously have the cathedral. There is the Hauptbahnhof, which is the main train station. And then literally right here, we have the padlock bridge. So people just basically buy a padlock, put it on there to represent their, their love, basically. It's just a pretty cool little concept and idea above the river Rhine. It soon turned dark and we had a look at the city in the evening and the following day we went to the Rhein and Energie Stadion to check out the home of FC Cone. Welcome back to the vlog, it is day two here in Germany. We're here today at the Rhein and Energie Stadion because we're going to be doing a stadium tour. We're at the station, it's literally like not even a five minute walk. We got a glimpse of the stadium on the train, but let's go inside of the Rhein and Energie Stadion and see what it has to offer. But before doing that, we had a quick look around the club shop at some of the kits as well. We also took some pictures outside of the stadium, had a look around the 50,000 seater arena before heading inside. Here it is, what a beautiful sight, the South Stand, Ryan Energy Stadion. Definitely coming back here for a game, absolutely have to. And that is exactly what I did. This video was filmed back in August, however the clip you're currently seeing was filmed back in September as I finally got to see FC play. Unfortunately they lost 3-1 to Hoffenheim on the day, but honestly it was one of my favourite ever football experiences and the video is definitely one of my best. Please do check it out if you haven't already. Anyway, back to the video. It's great to be here, another German stadium ticked off. Now it is finally time to go inside of the stadium. I'm very excited for this one. Now I appreciate that this isn't exactly what everyone wants to do on their trip to Cologne or whilst travelling away, however as a football fan and a massive fan of the Bundesliga I couldn't ignore the 50,000 seater Rhein Energie Stadion. It's so beautiful, I really enjoyed it and I must go back as well for another game next season. I absolutely love it at FC Köln and I couldn't resist putting my foot on the turf. Since then I've been lucky enough to visit some other Bundesliga stadiums to watch some games and I'm looking to do a couple more later this season. Okay guys, so that concludes the tour at FC Köln. I hope you enjoyed it, now let's move on to the next activity. Repping the FC Köln top now, the away one for this season. I think it suits me and I'll have to come back, like I said, for a game here at the stadium. Okay then guys, we have now almost arrived at the Chocolate Museum. This is something I would highly recommend to any of you looking to visit Cologne. There's loads to learn about chocolate and of course, plenty to eat. So we are now at the chocolate museum. We've got a little museum's bag, got greeted with a bit of Lindt's chocolate on arrival. Mm -hmm. 
If you become one of the 650,000 visitors that this museum gets a year, you'll have the opportunity to check out a greenhouse and also find out how chocolate is made. It smells so good in here, literally like chocolate. towards the end of the tour now so let's get some chocolate for a euro and here we have full milk and I can confirm that chocolate was very, very good. But anyway, after around two hours, we finished the tour. Really enjoyed that. Now we're gonna hopefully find a pub. Lots of activities coming tomorrow. Hopefully we can do like a, uh, a boat ride or a cruise thing on the River Rhine. A little bit more around the cathedral as well. And also the Cologne Triangle, where you pretty much get like a whole view of the city. So yeah, fantastic day so far. I'm so tired, but my legs are killing me. Morning guys, it is now day three food. Yesterday was really, really good. I had the classic schnitzel, really enjoyed it. So now I've had schnitzel and also breakfast. So today, like I said yesterday, we have the river cruise. We're gonna go and see the Kona dorm again. And then in the evening, try some delicious pork knuckles. Here we are then, entering the cruise. Look at this for a view. Not bad at all. Hi at Regency over there. Padlock Bridge over there. So many of you may already know that I absolutely love Germany, particularly German football, but just Germany in general. But this city is absolutely my favorite. I don't know what it is about Cologne, the cathedral right at the heart of it that just attracts me so much. Obviously, I went there twice as well for the football, but it is just fantastic. And also since then, it's important to know my German has improved quite a lot. Back in the hotel now after a little break, visiting the shopping street and also actually going into the cathedral this time. Of course, we stood outside it yesterday, but today was the time we went into it and wow, it is absolutely massive. The ceilings are so high as well, but now we're gonna go out and do something very, very German. I have four bottles, empty plastic bottles lying on the bed right now. So let's go to Audi and do it. Okay, first time in Germany using a front machine. So I'm pretty sure you just put it in like that and then 25 cents. Now for those of you that come from a country like Germany where there is France, this may seem like a completely normal thing to do. However, for me coming from England, we don't have this and I think it's a really cool idea. So I just like to do it whenever I go to Germany. And there it is, one euro back. Brilliant. And bang, recycling Germany for a little bit of money back. Wenn man in Deutschland ist, muss man auf jeden Fall Currywurst lassen. Sehr lecker. Wow, look at all of these padlocks. So many of them. We've got the bridge, boat, posh hotel, and the Cologne Triangle. Beautiful. So then, guys, I've just had two Cologne beers in Fru am Dorm next to the Cologne Cathedral. Walked across the padlock bridge, which I still can't remember the name of. And now I think we're going to go up the Cologne Triangle. So, yeah, hopefully we can see some good views and then eat in at Haxon House. Very right, let's go up and see what it has to offer. Look at this. Wow, look at this, guys. Not a bad little view from up here. Better than walking up all of the 500 and something steps from that cathedral. Way too long. If you're looking to see Cologne from above, the Cologne Triangle is something I really recommend because you get a great view and it's panoramic as well, so you can have a nice little walk around. After that, we walked into this five-star hotel, the Hyatt Regency, for no particular reason apart from it looks really nice. Look at this. You can tell it's a five-star hotel. This is also where the footballers stay, for example, Bayern Munich or, or Dortmund when they come to Cologne. I've heard that they actually stay in this hotel and it looks onto the Rhine. It's beautiful. So I've made the discovery and that's that the Hyatt Regency Hotel is very nice, very luxury in the inside the reception area. Now we're still walking along the Rhine, the boulevard, and gonna head to Haxon House now as we have a reservation. I've read the reviews, it says they're very good. Just like this view, to be honest, it is absolutely stunning. Look at this, wow. There it is, Haxon House, where we're going. Places to drink as well, looks very nice. Great beer, delicious food, absolutely no complaints from me. I also wanted to let you know that this video is not sponsored by anyone. These are all just my personal opinions. Morning guys, food last night was really, really nice. I have to say I had the Haxon, which if you don't know, are pork knuckles from Haxon House, really, really good. Also, we, uh, we found a bottle, so we're gonna go back to the plant machine. And I really wanted to try this because I've only seen it in Germany, that is Mezzo Mix. Um, basically tastes like Coke. 
And then we're going to go to the Cologne Hauptbahnhof because we need to get a train and possibly a bus. I don't really know how we're going to get there, but we're going to buy a Leverkusen versus West Ham today. So let's go. Like I said, this video was filmed last summer. And if you want to check out my match day experience from Bayer Leverkusen versus West Ham, the video is up now on my channel. And funny enough, the two have drawn each other in the Europa League quarterfinals. And I will be there in attendance at the London Stadium. So keep an eye out for that one too. But anyway, back to Cologne. Okay guys, we are now back from the football. The video would have gone up ages ago. Now we're gonna go back to where we went in the on the first night to that restaurant because it was really nice where I had the breakfast and I'm gonna try the schnitzel this time and then after that it'll be time to go back to the Flughafen and head home to England. But it's been a really enjoyable trip here in Cologne and I'd love to come back sometime. Just like on the first night, the food was absolutely amazing. And I'll definitely be eating there again should I go back to Cologne. But after that, it was time to head to the airport and home. Okay, update at the airport. We have been delayed for several hours now. The flight was meant to leave at nine and it's currently 10 to 11. Not good. Finally getting on the plane. There it is. So that was the end of part one and in part two I went to see FC Köln take on Hoffenheim and before doing that I visited this kind of football complex which was just next to the cathedral, plenty of activities going on and I had a go at football darts too. What a fantastic idea, this is absolutely brilliant. So many people here as well around there. Lots of people trying the activities. This was a cool little way to see Cologne as well. Obviously going in the cable car, getting some great views of the city. I'm personally not scared of heights, but for some reason this terrified me. I don't know why, but it is a great experience and it's not too expensive either. And we're currently in a cable car, which is pretty cool. Lovely view over here of the cathedral. It's pretty scary, you're up very high, but yeah. If you come to Cologne and you're not from Cologne, definitely do this. So there you go, that was my entire trip to Cologne. I hope you enjoyed it. Everything I did in Cologne, I would highly recommend. The cathedral, the cable cars, the chocolate museum, and the stadium as well, if you like football. It was all fantastic. Some great beer, some great food. I really enjoyed it, and I'm excited to go back again. I haven't booked it yet. However, I am going to Berlin in April, so perhaps I'll do a little travel vlog there, or at least make some content for you guys to see. If you did enjoy this kind of video, though, and you want me to do more, then please let me know in the comments below. If not, then maybe I'll stick to football vlogs, and there'll be some of those coming soon i realize i haven't uploaded in a while however i've been organizing the run into the end of the season which for me will finish in april as i have exams in may and june so i won't be uploading then however i'm looking forward to it plenty of big games coming soon so make sure you stay tuned but thanks again for watching i hope you enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to leave a like subscribe comment and i will see you in the next one coming this weekend here i go here i go again here i go